Hello and welcome to the West Country match, the final weekend of the season and for Torquay United, arguably the most important game in their history. 14 years ago, Bryn the police dog helped save them from the drop. This time, the equation is simple. They need a point here at Underhill against Barnet to keep them in Division 3. With Barnet needing a win to stay up, the atmosphere around the ground, nothing short of electric. Not for the faint-hearted, this one. Torquay fans have experienced many highs and lows over the years and around 1,500 made the journey here to North London. You are all I can remember After all that we've been through Forever in my heart Now I'm through And June feels like November So can't believe it's true Too long we've been apart situation many times before and you know I think it's, it's a case of now working hard on it you know so uh, up the goals that's what I say <laughs> an awful feeling I just, it's, it's just not like anything I've ever known it's I've been I've been to talk to loads of times but like a cup final if you lose it there's life in there if you lose this it doesn't bear thinking about it. I really can't even imagine what I'm gonna feel like agony frustration makes you wonder what it's all about and it's the end of 43 years of supporting, no way, we're staying up. into Underhill for this survival showdown. High time we joined our match commentator, Martin Dean. Now, what is it they say about the football season being a marathon, not a sprint? Well, after nine months and 45 grueling games, it all comes down to a 90-minute squirt this afternoon, in which only one of these two teams can survive. This 
was only the 16th league meeting between these two sides and Barnet have much the better record but it took Torquay 13 attempts before they finally managed to register a win it was here at Underhill last season They've since gone on to win at Plainmore early drama Lee Harrison getting a knock from Effie and Williams who has an early chance Harrison coming off and he'll be replaced by Danny Naisbitt Attention there for Colin Lee. Just Stockley keeping with him. Header away from Heald. Now Goodhine giving it to Reese, and Jason Reese has scored. Well, what a finish from Jason Reese, and what a start for Torquay United. Those fans celebrate and well they might. Danny Naisbitt has only been on the field for eight minutes. Kevin Hill looking to play a little one-two. Well, he's managed to get the return ball. And it's been deflected away for a corner. Well, typical persistence from Kevin Hill. <laughs> oh, looking to float it in towards the near post. Flick on in Kevin Hill. Well, Kevin Hill gets a second. And the Torquay fans now are in seventh heaven almost. They must be feeling that their side are going to stay up. Yeah! A two-goal cushion now. Barnett have to score three to stay in the league. Remember, a point will be good enough for Torquay. At the moment, as if they're heading for all three. Staying up, staying up, staying up, seeing the Torquay fans. They're feeling they may have a point. Mick O'Brien with the free kick, hitting it from 40 yards well. It's an ambitious effort, to say the least. Danny Brown's long throw. The ball was picked off Brian Green's head, and there's Jimmy Agri's hand up. That was a silly penalty to give away. And now Barnett with a chance to get back in it. Darren Curry to take the penalty, and Jones has saved it. Well, would you believe it? Stuart Jones, first game for four months, back in the side. forward for O'Brien, looking to set Effie and Williams off on a run, Marber going with him, Williams has support from Kell, curled in towards David Graham who's got away from his marker, that's three, David Graham and surely, surely Torquay United are going to be playing third division football again next season. Jason Reese back on the bench there, you saw him shouting briefly. The fans are celebrating. Come on, easy ball. Well, what a first half it's been for Torquay United. Those fans are celebrating. They couldn't have hoped for better, really. Jason Reese giving Torquay the perfect start, Kevin Hill getting the second and then David Graham a third for Torquay to put them well in control and all that after Darren Curry had missed a penalty things going great for Torquay, not so good for Barnett but there's still 45 minutes to go, it's going to be a tense affair join us again for the second half after the break